All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content. And let's get right into it. All of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Town, coming to you live with another video. I actually need to go to the barbershop, man. These doggone, I got to get these sideburns, these sideburns straightened out. You know what I'm talking about? And then just get him to just get him to uh so when you growing your hair out, you ain't really worried about your hairline, but I still need to get him to shape everything up. But that's a Thursday thing. I always do that on Thursday. I don't do that during the week, man. And then I gotta get Bridget to get me six of these scrape bikes. Hey Breeze, tell him you ain't fired. Tell him why for you ain't been on these shows. I'm not fired. This is like a super busy time for me with doing stuff at LJ school and just uh, a lot of orders and stuff. So yeah. it's just a busy time. This is a busy time of year for her, man. She's always like this, especially this time of year. Hey, if your wife is always busy this time of year, or you yourself and your wife are always busy this time of year, just let me know down in the comments. But anyway, check this out, man. So we were having a conversation yesterday. We asked about the Tesla Cybertruck, and we asked about the uh, the Ford F-150. Would I be doing you guys any type of justice, service, or anything if we didn't go back and go with the other couple of American trucks, man. And when I say that, I'm talking about that Chevy Silverado or the Dodge Ram. I say that Chevy Silverado. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that thing. Bah, God dang. Or the Dodge Ram. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, man. You don't realize how country you are until you, like we were getting ready to go to the game a couple of weeks ago. My homeboy just pulled up in this in one of the Dodge Rams. I like, shoot, let's get it, man. He like, bro, you know we country as hell. And if you really country, you already know that every country boy starter truck is that Chevy S10. You already know this ugly, this Liberty truck right here is every country boy starter truck. Tell me I'm lying. Unless you got one handed down to you, like, you know, your dad or somebody like that already had an F-150 and they may have been getting another F-150 or something like that or a Bronco or something. This thing right here, was every country boy starter truck. But you know, let me know. Look, I'm, a, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. My first car was a 76 Malibu Classic. That's that's what I had. And then um, after that, I had a, a Toyota Celica. Let me know what your first car was down in the comments. And if and, and, and if that if I'm not lying about this every country boy starter truck right there, that Chevy S10, you can always find somebody that's gonna sell one for about $1,500, maybe two grand max. You can always find one. They run damn near forever, and the only thing you ever gotta really worry about is tires. But anyway, let me get up out of it. Let me let me let me let me let that ride, man. Hey, look. First and foremost, we have more light shared on the subject in the um in the whole TW House uh incident. Hank the Tank speaks, man. He talks and he's talking about some of the some of the things. He's addressing a lot of the things um that everybody's saying a lot of people were thinking that in the beginning that this was a a hoax or just something that can, can completely draw all the uh 2k community's attention to these guys just the way that it's looking man i i, I can't say that I, I i can't call it either way it could be a brilliant hoax it could be a brilliant setup and they're like we all gonna drop videos and we all gonna eat off of these videos and we all gonna do this i just can't see that being the case, man. Just because, but I mean, like, let's let's just let's just take a take a look around YouTube real quick, man. Cold the man. Hey, look here. Hold on one second. Hey, let me show y'all something, man. I'm gonna show y'all how I'm a real one. Hey, look this right here. Um, this is Stan Banks, one of the people that does t-shirts, and he's saying how to print four color t-shirt design. Uh, recreate. Yeah, I'm gonna save that for later on. Because I'm always trying to learn something. Y'all know that I that I print t-shirts and uh you know we got we have our own site www.breezetees.com. You can go by there, you can buy things. We got the legends of born in December, we got the Christmas bags, we got all that. I'm never too proud, and you can save 10% off anything. So go by there, check some of this stuff out, man. The Infinity Gauntlet shirt. We got the Rip City, all this stuff. This is the way spots you are. We are all there. I'm always trying to learn something to perfect my craft. Never too proud. But look, though, this is what we're going to say. This is what we're doing. Cold the, Cold the Man. Let's see if we can find him real quick. Cold the Man. Video got 220,000 views. 
already and climbing. He gets views. He always got views, but you know it is what it is. Next up, we got T Jack. T Jack's video, 83, 89,000 views. His truth. And you know, you know, you we talking about 20 to 20, 15, 30,000 views. This one gets 89. So Hank the Tank. Let's just see. We just checking now. We, we just going through. Like I said, I don't think it's a publicity stunt. But if it is, they need to turn it into one and figure this whole thing out. Hank, two months ago, 299,000 views. This 17 hours. It's got 86,000. And uh, Hollywood TW. Let's see if he's on here. I don't think Hollywood put nothing out. But anyway, the whole point is that I'm trying to make is if it is a publicity stunt, it's a brilliant publicity stunt. His last video was a month ago, two months ago. So, you know, it is what it is. If it is a publicity stunt, it's a brilliant publicity stunt. I think that it's something that they should just like, bro, it's still not too late to say, hey, it was just a publicity stunt and we just wanted to make sure, you know, we just want to get all eyes on us for this big announcement and now we about to go crazy. I still think you can do that. I don't think anybody said anything too bad about anybody. Ain't nobody said nothing about nobody's folks, none of that stuff. So, hey, it is what it is. I, I, hey, Godspeed to them guys, man. Whatever they're doing, however they're doing it, whatever they plan to do, however they plan to do it, um, I just hope they figure it out, get it together, and everybody can have successful YouTube careers and, and get this money together because that's what it's really all about. Get this money together. And speaking of getting this money together, y'all should go check out, hey, me, me and my boy, All City TV, are going to do a collab pretty soon. I'm joining the Discord uh, today. I'm probably going to join in a second, but uh, I'm going to join the Discord. We're going to come, we're going to get together on a video. So y'all let me know what type of video y'all think we should collab on, man. Like, he does a lot of stuff, like, uh, you know, he got the badges, the badges. Joint. Look, bro, he's at 10 grand already. He just started when 2K came out. Like, this is a meteoric rise. I don't know what his oldest video is, but this is a meteoric rise to the top. I like it. Look at this. Okay, maybe two years ago. But he really started going hard when 2K, when 2K came out this year. And look, look, look at the success that he's having right now. I mean, he getting the same amount of views as I am. Look at all city, you coming, baby. Look at that. Look at this stuff, boy. The new bad shooting bad tutorial, all this stuff. Go over there, check this guy out, man. You're not gonna be disappointed. I promise you. Up next, speaking of somebody, that's that's the new right there. Now we got to go to the old. I say now we got to go to the old. Oh, oh. The old. Shakedown 2012. My boy. My boy. Hey. He has a VC deal. Uh, you know, we, we, he, he's the second person to get a VC deal. I wish they'd come up with some of these VC deals for PlayStation so I could support some of my other content creators. But the second content creator to get a VC deal, I already bought it twice. It's not glitched out. You're going to get exactly 45000 But I went ahead and bought it because I'm going to support my boy no matter what. Got a VC deal for new... I mean, um, let me see. I got a VC... Dang. Got a VC deal for you. New My Player this holiday season. I guess, oh, for you, I'm, I'm tripping. Got a new VC deal for your new My my Player this holiday season. Show your support for my Don't Call It A Comeback pack. This pack includes 45,000 VC, six skill boosts per category, and 15 uh, Gatorade items. So that's five Gatorades per category, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. 15 total Gatorade items. Click on the link, go get it. Look here, I'm about to tell him, I'm about to say, uh, already bought it twice uh let me see you know i support you my brother that see what your mind really processed the way you read. yeah man what you talking about <laughs> hey you a hater man look i already bought it twice i'm gonna buy some you know i support my brother like y'all don't understand that me and shake now i got a relationship that a lot of people don't know about um and it's sort of like like Shakedown is probably almost the closest thing I got to a brother. I don't have no brothers, but he's the closest thing I got to a brother. So we got a real close relationship. I talk to him quite frequently. And uh, like I said, you know, he gonna have, he, he put it out there the other day that he's gonna have twins. He got the twins going, uh, coming pretty soon. I don't know if I'm gonna be there. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be there when they're born. I probably don't want to intrude too much, but you know, it is what it is, man. I'm gonna ask him and see what he want. And if he say I can come through, we gonna go through and try to, try to, y'all you know, know how it is when you have kids and when you have those, when you have babies the first time and you just hope somebody bring a plate over or some food or something like that. You know, Bridget real close with his wife and all that stuff. So, you know, we gonna, we, we, we try to do what we can do, man. But you know, 
or or at least after or, or a little bit after whatever. You know, I don't want to intrude, but you know, like it's it's tough. It's tough. It's a tough read sometimes. You don't know. You don't want to intrude, but you want to be there just in case somebody needs you. It's, it, it's it's rough, but you know, it is what it is. But that's my boy. So you know, I'm gonna support him and everything. Godspeed to him. Y'all should go support him too. But it's only on Xbox. That's the only thing. I wish they would put some of these on PlayStation. I don't know why they're not putting these on PlayStation. Maybe they don't like the content creators that are on PlayStation, or just maybe it's just easier to get something into the Microsoft. Microsoft store than it is to get it into the PlayStation store. I don't know, especially like a VC deal or something like that where they can do it. But I, I would believe that. But we got the creator codes and where well, the creator codes are technically on a on an outside platform, right? Because that's on that's on the um, the Fortnite launcher. And so that's a whole different program. So I guess that's that's that store. Maybe it's just more difficult to get something onto the PlayStation Store than it is to do it on the Xbox. That's the only thing that I can surmise. But I can't really. I don't know. Like who would they really? What content creators on PlayStation do you think they would go after? Um, you know what I'm saying? Like what content creators would they would they get to do it? I don't know. Anyway, last but not least, man, I gotta know, man. The sliders have been changing on 2K. And, and and it really feels like the finishing sliders have changed pretty pretty tough the last few days. What I'm saying is my guy wasn't dunking. He couldn't go to the rim. He couldn't do anything. I put on Giant Slayer, and now he tries to dunk on everybody. And then, like, okay, so Giant Slayer is making me try to dunk. If you don't, like, I've seen rebounding wings getting killed in the paint by centers now when, when last week they could hold a center. It's like they tuned the paint defense to where – only big men can stop big men now, but a rebounding wing or, or like a small forward can stop a big man if he's not that skilled, but if he's a big man that's determined to score, maybe you're not gonna stop him anyway. But I've seen like like rebounding wings or the, or the small forwards, they can't stop big man anymore. And it's feeling, it's feeling like, I don't know if they did that on purpose to try to make the seven threes a little bit more viable because I'm seeing seven threes come back a little bit and try to be out there, but I just feel like it doesn't matter because it's much to do. It's much too little, too late. Like that's that's still too slow. I don't know. My my six eleven, um, my six eleven center got seventy five speed, and then a seven three got like thirty five speed. Uh, it's sub fifty, whatever it is. So it's like like he's never gonna be fast enough to really be able to do anything. He's definitely not gonna be able to be fast enough to to pick up on the pick and roll and do all that other stuff. Obviously, he's gonna be a monster in the paint and all of that. And he should body my guy in the paint, but I got Hall of Fame rim protecting Hall of Fame intimidator, so it's like good luck. I, I don't know, like, like it's like I can hold people in the paint, but I definitely am noticing that other people are having a lot of trouble holding people in the paint. If that makes any sense, y'all, let me know what y'all think, man. I, I just feel like the sliders have changed as far as finishing. They they got you doing foo foo layups. They have you doing all types of crazy stuff that you shouldn't be doing. Um, but like I said, All City did a great video the other day where he was like. He put on Giant Slayer and he and he tuned up some of his badges and stuff like that. And when he put on Giant Slayer, it, it made his guy start going back to the rim. So I did the same thing. My guy, like I, he literally would not dunk. My 611 literally would not dunk without Giant Slayer. I put on Giant Slayer. I put out. You know, I got four badges. I wish I had gone with six because that way I could have gotten gold giant slayer and gold contact finishing out of been good but i put on silver contact finisher and silver giant slayer it seems to be working just fine especially in the park if i catch somebody slipping they getting banged on if it's a guard he getting banged on but if it's a big guy and i pump fake and he goes up and i can go straight up and just dunk it and he's finishing in a pretty high clip so i i don't know man if you're not if you're having trouble finishing uh, if you're having trouble defending people, you might want to put on that Hall of Fame rim protector or, you know, Hall of Fame intimidator, at least in the gold rim protector or silver rim protector, something like that if you're a rebounding wing and maybe they'll let you start stopping centers again. But if you're having trouble finishing, your guy ain't taking off, put on Giant Slayer. I guarantee he'll start taking off like like Delta. I'm talking about he going up hard to the cup. Huh, and one. I asked T Mills, I said, T, what you got, brother? I said, what you got? What you using? He said, yo, I am using... The, um, I'm using Giant Slayer and uh, Slithery. Giant Slayer and Slithery together right now. Ooh, that's a combination to get something to catch a body. You know, you know, I can't, I can't sing this song because you know, uh, you know, we don't support that guy. Anyway, check it out. Let me know down in the comments though, man. Which one do you like? What was your first car coming up? And uh, was I lying that this is everybody's starter truck? Especially if you're from the country, you can always find one pretty cheap. That Chevy S10. But let me know what you rocking now. Chevy Silverado. A Dodge Ram. I say the 2020 Chevy Silverado 
or the 2020 Dodge Ram, man. Y'all let me know what y'all rocking. And if you're on Xbox, go check out the Shakedown. Don't call it the Comeback Pack. Support my boy. And uh, we're going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Godspeed. Hey, right, look at that. Look at that. See, he didn't already reply. I say he already replied. Yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You invited to the Shakedown 2020 Summer Barbecue, my brother, and I know you don't eat meat, so we got vegan specials as well. Wow, Shake! Really? I say really. I'm going to be there, too. I'm going to be there when the kids is born. I'm going to be there at the barbecue, and I ain't going to be eating them but rice and beans and broccoli. And that's about all I eat, because I'm I'm a fake vegan who occasionally sometimes indulges in... I'm 100% plant-based, but, you know. Anyway, let me get up out of here, man, because, you know, the vegan police going to get on me. I'm going to lose my vegan powers. All these muscles going to be gone. I can't be... It is. Shut up! Ain't nobody care about no 12-minute video. I'm out. Peace.